Hello! Hello! <laughs> Sorry. Hello everybody, welcome to another Minimum Salvation stream. My name is Jude, I'm from Minimum Salvation. And today we'll be flying this wonderful A321neo from uh, Manila to uh, Cebu. As you can see here. And yeah, hope you do luck. Uh, I've started the aircraft guys and it's in cold and dark state. So that means that our air, we're gonna start the aircraft from its, you know, unstarted state, guys. This is what Manila looks like. Take a look at this, guys. Really nice Manila with some clouds at the top. And yeah, let's go. Let's do some shout outs here. Shout out to Van Dars, to Na Noah, Nids, to Yoli Reyes. Shout out to you, to Gian Lorenzo, R2005 channel. Hello, dude. Shout out to you. Welcome, welcome to the stream, guys. Hope you're doing fine. And yeah. So, I've not started the aircraft yet, guys. The aircraft is still on the cold and dark plate. And we are about to get out of here, guys. What do you think about this delivery? Delivery looks good and stuff. Is it good? Take a look at this delivery. Really nice. So, we'll be starting our aircraft right now. Let's go to the cockpit. So let's reduce the sound here. I'm playing this engine. Wait a minute, guys. Alright, so we're just gonna reduce the sound here for the music. Let's get inside the cockpit. To start the cockpit, let's turn on our uh, batteries. There you go, batteries is on. External uh, power is on. There goes our external power. we we'll just wait for a minute here while the aircraft starts itself. Yoli Reyes, hello, shout out to you. How are you doing, dude? And yeah, we'll be starting this in a while here. So we're gonna turn on our floodlights. I'm gonna show you how I make my flight usually from the start because usually I show you what happens after uh, or where we are ready for a pushback. So let's do that. I'm gonna show you how to start the aircraft from the dark stage. Pull the dark stage, guys. So this is how we usually do it. So first we turn on the uh, the battery one and battery two first. There we go. So that's on. And then the next thing we need to do is to turn on our uh, external power. We go to the overhead panel and turn on the external power, guys. So that's what you need to do. And after we turn on our external power, we need to test if the APU is working. Let's turn. Let's first turn on our radios, guys. So turn on the radios both sides, and then our uh, primary flight display. Also turn it on. So yeah, you don't miss any of this. Make sure you don't miss any of it. Turn this on. And also turn on the brightness for our Mac 2. Right. Turn on our uh, light. You, re you, do sh you should not forget to turn on the light because it's uh, really important. Do not leave the lights off. Right. After that, we're gonna test the APU. Our test, if it's working. Yep, I'm doing good, guys. How about you? Are you doing fine? Doing great? <laughs> if our test is good, start APU. Is the stream okay, guys? Is it lagging? Is, can you hear me? Can you hear me good? Can you see the stream uh, better? Alright, let's start the APU. 
So if you don't know guys, the APU is located at the back side of the aircraft, right here. So this is another engine of the aircraft. So basically, it provides, this is the third engine of the aircraft. Uh, when you first think of it, uh, we, we have two engines here, but we don't, in reality guys, we have another engine right here at the back. Thank you very much R205, dude. Would like to fly with you. You have a uh, good uh, computer, I guess. And yeah. Let's try to fly one day, R205. And every one of you has explained. We can actually fly together in uh, co-pilot. So here we go. Uh, so we have pneumatic pressure already set here. Let's get back to the cockpit. And I'm gonna start stop the music right now. You could hear us clearly. So as you can see, our APU is now available. And uh, once our APU is available, we can turn on the APU bleed. So let's turn it on. So basically, guys, the APU bleed is uh, the indication that we have air. So basically, it's the uh, passenger air, guys. So all the passengers here in the back. Ooh, I like, I like this uh, design here with the uh, Air Asia. Really looks good. So, so they have air conditioning at the back with the passenger and also us. So since it's, I don't know what temperature is here in Manila currently. So let's search for the temperature. Current temperature in Manila is 32 degrees Celsius. It's pretty hot, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, it resets on its own. Well, never mind. Uh, 32 degrees, so we need to increase the temperature here because it's pretty hot, guys, outside. So let us put that on cold. My potato tablet is dead, so I can build the 767. I can't build the 767 in two planes while watching this new. Ah, dude. Sad to hear. It's okay, we can uh, also just dream of getting another one. Alright, emergency. So we'll do the flows. In real life, guys, this is how they do the flows. After the APU is on, we have uh, electrical power in the aircraft. We have bleeds, which is basically the air conditioning. The next thing you need to do is to do the flows. So we have the uh, first, uh, the captain flows and the first officer flows, but you don't actually do it like that. Uh, you actually do it like the uh, uh, pilot flying flows and the uh, pilot monitoring flows. So basically, it can be switched. Who is flying the aircraft? So, for example, today today I will be flying the aircraft. So the captain will do the flows, and I will do the pilot flying, and this first officer will do the pilot monitoring stuff. Let's get to the overhead panel, and let's do the flows. So the flows looks, oh my god! Now I forgot to do it, police, and it should be at Pratt and Whitney. There we go. I need to put it and I'm gonna put this to Neo XLR. There we go. So the captain will do the flows. Ah, uh, no, no, no. The pilot flying will do the flows. So basically, the flows, guys, consist of these three. Three things flow one, flow two, flow three. So basically, we start with this panel here from down to up, down to up, down to up. So yeah. Shout out to us, Sumon. Gosh, hello dude. Oh yeah, we're back. Alright. And also to I got uh, MC them. Colors. Welcome to the stream, dude. Thank you very much for tuning in. So let's do the flows. This flow here we need to turn on the oxygen supply for the cabin and for us. So that goes to on. So if there's no light guys, it means it's on. So like the and we need to turn on our ground control. And uh, yeah, ground control. And the next thing we need to do is to turn on our ADRs. So ADRS means automatic display initial reference system. So first you switch to nav. There we go. It's aligning. I uh, IR1 and ADR1 is. So we wait until this on bot is off. Okay. The on bot is not anymore present. We'll turn on IR2. We'll wait for this to get lost. And uh, nav3. So basically this is done. The first panel of our checklist is done. Pretty simple guys. That's with the Airbus. So simple. Next we need to do is this here. So what do we have here? We need to turn on our emergency seat light. So it's basically just a light guys that tells you. I don't know if it's modeled here. But 
you see there, there is usually light here guys which tells you that that is the exit of the aircraft let me show you oh I can I can actually do that oh my god but uh, there should be something uh, let's go back to the cockpit here let me, show it. let me try to show it to you there should be something here so yeah this these are the exit lights if you switch it if you, if you switch it to on hey recall us shout out to you welcome to the stream so if you switch this light to on then that's that should light in real life and we need to turn on our no smoking lights switches to on but it's always on guys it's just for the sound seatbelt signs we'll turn it later because we're gonna refuel the aircraft and the next thing you need to do is to turn on our nav lights so the nav lights is these lights here we have the uh, starboard side lights the color green lights and we have the uh, port side light which is the uh, red light here on the left side so this is the basically the uh, and we have also the white light here on the nose this tells other aircraft that we are switching on the aircraft get back to the cockpit uh, let's go back to the overhead panel and we need to turn on our strobe lights to auto because uh, this thing will automatically uh, sense when you're entering the runway and it will turn on the strobe lights but you actually need it to put it to strobe on first off. but in case you forgot at least you have this so strobe light is on so this thing is done here let's check our uh, annunciator lights test this is the next thing we need to do all right so we need to make sure that all lights is turned on so check this out check this all the lights should be turned on from downside remember to check these lights all lights should be turned on come and fly with me all right so so far so good all the lights has been turned on and i'm just gonna close the light because it's daytime and i want to save electricity all right next thing we need to do is to test our uh, engine fire switches on let's test this if it's working there we go we can hear the uh, fire alarm the left side engine number two so it's now also working shout out to you yes you're back all right so so far so good both of this is working and yeah for this side it's basically just turning on the radio because it's, it's not actually modeled in real life if you press this it's also gonna sound for the test but not here so yeah that that's gonna complete our uh, overhead ch panel check and for our uh, down panel check so far nothing to be worried about here we're not flying on ATC so yeah so basically now I need to set the local QNH or the uh, pressure barometric pressure for the area so to know the QNH you just need to search for the meter so this is the meter guys or the or the uh, terminal information so as you can see this long list of words is the uh, meter so to find the QNH you see this Q here this is the QNH so that's 1009 er and you need to put it here so let's put that 1009 all right there we go 1009 all right so at this part guys i'm gonna start doing the flight plan so i'm gonna show you how to make a flight plan so first you go to the mcdu and we'll be flying today to we'll be flying all the way to lagundingan we're from manila and we'll be flying all the way to lagundingan and let's put rpll which is manila and rpmy that's the uh, Ikawa code for uh, Lagundingan on Cagayan. So there we go. RPLL, RPMY, and we need to do the IRS align. So basically, guys, IRS will align all of these three. It's going to take a while, about seven minutes to align all of these three. But we're going to use that seven minutes to make our flight plan here. All right, let's align it. There we go. So it's aligning. So now I'm gonna open Volanta. Let's open Volanta here. So we do have a flight tracker. So I like Volanta guys. If you have the chance to download Volanta. Yes, I'm gonna show you show you guys the flight plan. So uh huh. Let's go to flight. I mean I'm I'm gonna load this again. Uh -huh. 
Molanta, let's end it first. Alright, let's open it again. We wait for our Volanta to load in and we're gonna make the flight plan in now. So our Wi Fi is quite a you know, weak site. I don't know what's happening with our Wi Fi. So it's currently aligning as you can see here. Four minutes before the uh, IRS aligns. So yeah. Alright, dude, you're back. Thank you, dude. So we're aligning here. Let's get some. Uh, cinematic views for some reason my volanta isn't working so let's, I'm gonna kill it again it's not working for me so let's try it again he's gonna check for updates so basically volanta guys is a really good application to plan your flight using SimBrief and to also to track to track our flight so here we go so we're gonna fly today. So we're currently at uh, currently at Manila. So that's our aircraft right over there. So here we are. So to we're gonna fly our BC. Oh no 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 not you of course you're eight. This is this is eight nine 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 eight nine nine seven seven. Eight nine or seven seven. So I need to add an aircraft here. So we're gonna add. Alright, RPC. So basically, that's gonna be RPC eight nine or eight. Or oh rather, RPC eight nine or. Let me see. Eight nine or seven seven. Alright, eight nine or seven seven. Put it here, eight nine or seven seven, and that's gonna be an A three. That's gonna be a A three twenty one Neo. Great aircraft. That's gonna be our aircraft for this flight. So we're gonna pick. Uh, there we go. That's our aircraft, and we're gonna be flight cool red. Or I really, I really like the call sign. I'm gonna choose school red uh, 541. That's gonna be our call sign for today. We're currently at RPLL. Yep, there we go. We're at Manila and we'll be flying all the way to RPMY or Lagundingan Airport. And on alternate airport will be RPM. RPVM. That's gonna be one. So, we're gonna make a flight plan here, add to flight plan, and we'll be using a sim brief. There we go. What? Are you sure? Uh -huh. Oh my god, everything is smooth. Alright, never mind. We'll just continue with it. Uh, on plug in. Right. We're gonna log in and create our flight plan here. Will be an 8321 Neo APG 541 with 8321 here. And let's check our flight plan here. So our flight plan looks good, but we'll take. Uh, a much better way to do this is to take Harbo 1 departure. So let's do Harbo 1 3 for departure. No, 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 it's gonna be 3 1 rather. Yes. Harbo we bought, uh, well, first. Alright, this is much more better. Alright, so let's check the flight plan. Let's put the car going to auto and let's generate the flight plan. Good dude. 737. Yep, it is. Alright. So here we are guys. This is our aircraft. 
and let me show you how the flight plan look like so this is what the flight plan look like looks like guys as you can see here it's a lot of information it can show you the winds this is what the winds looks like here at rpny you have a lot of winds today i will fly so there's a lot of information here but we're gonna narrow it down let's get back to the cockpit so the first thing i want to do is to fill out our mcdu this is our mcdu here dps primary so our uh, our uh, adrs or our navigation system of our has already aligned so the first thing you need to do is to fill out this information so let's see what information is it here that we need to fill out first let's start from the left side we have flight number so we already know that our flight number will be full red 541 so that's gonna be alpha no no that's gonna be uh uh alpha pop uh golf so apg uh 541 there we go and our cost index so basically the cost index guys is how the per aircraft will perform in the uh, cruise altitude so our cross index so basically the dispatcher will do that cost index here as you can see cost index will be five so we'll put five here and our cruising altitude will be flight level 350 as you can see here flight level so this is where you find our cruising altitude 0350 so that's going to be three five zero thirty five thousand feet that's gonna be our cruise altitude so yeah that's already filled and next we need to check the irs no 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 not the irs the wind and we're gonna insert the winds guys there we go that's our winds so there is a uh there's a proper uh way of doing this so that's gonna be if ref so in it uh flight plan if r rad nav then back to init hp then uh, performance and secondary flight plan so next we're going flight plan so we're gonna depart at runway 31 with the harbor one departure no transition and from harbor one we're going direct where is it this is our flight plan here direct ipata so let's just put alpha papa alpha tango alpha there we go and then we'll put the airways Airways, uh, we have Bravo Force. It's gonna be a kind of a boring, kind of a boring stage. But I want to show it to you so I could make future videos. Bravo Four Six Two and uh, Masba. That's our next weapon, Masba. And from Masba, we need to go to Whiskey Eight. Then to Makan or MCT. And from Makan, we need to go to Whiskey 6 Alpha. All the way to Sagol. That's our uh, starting where we approach Sagol. There we go. And then in RPMY, I need to set this to arrival. We're gonna do the. Uh, Arnav runway 09 with uh I forgot with Sagol 4 Alpha as our arrival. Sagol 4 R. There we go. And I'm gonna set this later. No star, no transition. Set as good as new. So there goes these are flight plan guys. So we should always check the flight plan. Is it good? Is it on route? Is it doing good? So to do that we need to check our flight plan. So go to plan. Make sure that it is all always connected. So straight out departure to Harbo, then our next waypoint will be Ipata, as you can see here. Then from Ipata, we'll go direct this waypoint, guys, to Masba, to this, that, to Maktan, Mabit, Sagol, and that we're gonna start our approach. There we go. And yeah, that's good. So, flight plan so far is good that's our flight plan right here the next thing we need to do is now to do the uh, boarding so we need to make sure that all the passengers and stuff are good let's turn on our uh, seatbelt slides and let's get rid of this uh, ground handling so say goodbye to this guy they're gonna disconnect right now since we are preparing ourselves for departure so let's open this our tallest ICS exchange I like to apologize we have the Cebu Pacific skin here 
uh, because I uh, usually fly with Cebu Pacific, but I try I uh, I now tried uh, flying with the uh, with the Air Asia. The Air Asia. Right. Let's start. Oh, you can see the bus actually coming in front of us right now. So, for our startup, let's go to loading performance. We're gonna check our weights. How many passengers is in our flight plan? You can see your packs. So, this is our passenger here. We'll be bringing 220 passengers. So, let's do 220, which is full capacity for our departure. And we need to check our uh, zero fuel weight of 72,000 so that's gonna be 72,000 there gonna apply which is checked already and we're gonna bring fuel of 8,100 so just gonna round it up five real passengers lol <laughs> that's good no you're not actually a passenger sure my pi you're you're uh, also a pilot all right so so that's gonna be set so uh, we could now check our V speeds. There we go. We have the V speeds here of one three two one four two one four five. So, so the next stage, like I said, we're gonna check it here. Oh, where is it? There we go. So let's go back to Radnav. So that's my Mia set. We need to put MCT here just to make sure on the other one. That's three hundred seven nautical miles. Let's go back to init. So there is still two things here that is not filled. We have the zero fuel weight CG and the block fuel. So you can find it here. So these are zero fuel weight, and these are zero fuel weight center of gravity. So that's gonna be 72 tons and 28.5 of CG. With a block fuel of 9.1. These are block fuel, guys. As you can see here, 9.1. Ready, ready to load the time. So yeah. We have extra time here of uh, extra fuel of 4.8 and a final time of 30 minutes. So yeah, our, our takeoff weight is 80 and our landing weight will be 77.8. Yeah. Seven flight on board. Hello guys. Thank you very much. Let's go to uh, performance. For our performance, we're just going to fill this up. So we're going to take off with flaps 2 and uh, down 0.3. That's gonna be our flaps 2 and down 0.3 setting. And for our flex temperature, it's gonna be 34. So flex temperature for the engine. So it so usually guys our engine is not gonna go to uh full thrust guys or 100 percent thrust. It's gonna go about 80% to 90% thrust. So to save fuel and also to uh, prevent engine wear. For our V speeds, we have 132 of V1 and 142 of uh, VR and V2 of 145. You need to, to put that all there. And yeah, that concludes it. So we have started it and it's already there. We need to put the uh, flight plan here in the uh, first officer. Okay, after this stream, I'm going to do my RFS flight from Manila to Cebu. Oh, nice, dude. Congratulations to you. So first we need to put our initial climb. So usually ATC will give you your uh, initial climb. So at this point, you're usually going to ask for clearance in ATC. But since there's no ATC around, uh, we're just going to clear ourselves initially to flight level 130. And then uh, let's squawk. Let's just imagine that we are squawking 4105. That's going to be our squawk code. So, uh, the squawk code is used to identify us in the ATC's radar. So, we need to check our charts. I'm using uh, Navigraph for our charts. So, we're going to wait for our charts here. And first, we need our airport charts. There we go, as always. And we need our departure charts, which is the Harbor 1 departure. RNP departure. So, first, let's do our briefing here. Really fast briefing. We're going to push back. All the way here to hot then taxi hotel four golf one zero November, all the way uh, rather to November golf one one to fox to Delta all the way Delta all the way to Fox Road five then we'll take off at uh, runway three one and for our departure 
we're gonna do all the way to Harbo 1, 1,900 feet and our for our routing that's gonna be car on course 316 so we're gonna put 316 here so that's gonna be 316 three, three, one, uh, six. there we go so climb on course 316 out of above 1,900 contact ADC for further instructions usually it's gonna be a vector departure after harbor we're gonna be vectored all the way to Verde that's gonna what's gonna happen So yeah, uh, that's gonna be our so for abnormal procedures in case for a miss up, uh, in case for an engine failure. So we have V1 here. So these are speed guys. Uh, V1 is our safety speed. We cannot abort the takeoff. We cannot stop the takeoff if anything happens. Uh, we cannot stop the uh, takeoff once we reach V1. So once we reach V1, even there is a engine failure, we need to take off. That's the rule. So yeah, so. Anything before V1 Anything before V1 We're gonna stop And Stop in the runway And contact ATC For further instructions I will apply Full reverse thrust And uh, Full uh, Check the Full braking actions If it's available And also reverse thrust And this is gonna be set To arm Later Anything after V1 We're gonna continue our climb And we'll do nothing Except to cancel oral warnings Upon reaching our engine out Altitude of 1580 feet And approaching green dot speed We're gonna do the ECAM actions And do a right downwind Correction Alright A right downwind Towards 24 In case of a return So yeah That's gonna be the easy briefing here So if In case We have an engine failure And we need to go back We just Return here on runway 24 So this is runway 24 here we're gonna return here again. Now that concludes our briefing, and we are ready to go. Let's call our cab now. So the cab is better push back. Connect. Ground to cockpit. Tow is driving up. All right, the tow is driving up. So let's do our before start flows. So at this stage, guys, uh, everything is set. We have closed the doors outside, as you can see. The doors is already closed, and we're gonna start. And prepare ourselves for departure as you can see every door is closed everything is set here let's get back to the cockpit and turn so we need to turn our external power since we already have our apu which is providing power for the aircraft goodbye external power and the next thing we need to do is to turn on our fuel pumps these uh six buttons here are fuel pumps you need to turn that all on so basically if there's no light if there's no light in the aircraft, it's either on the normal state, on the auto state, or in the on state. Either of the three. But sometimes this is for the abnormal buttons that uh, you will see it's on because it needs to be turned off. That's what you should always do. Okay. All doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. All right. Let's see how the let's see how they connect it, guys. Yeah. This is how they connect. So basically, they carry the entire wheel, guys. Take a look at this. We're gonna build a 747 nice dude there we go it's gonna connect right now and it's gonna carry it's gonna carry the entire wheel take a look at this it's take a look at this carrying the entire wheel guys it's carrying the entire aircraft there we go Get back to the cockpit and at this stage I'm gonna ask for clearance for pushback but since there's no ATC uh, we're gonna turn on our vegan lights so the next thing we need to do is to do our checklist here so for the checklist I'm using the Sputnik aviation checklist for the 8320, 8019-8020, 8020-8200 checklist so this is our first checklist as you can see there is a line here so any line means a clearance so, so we're gonna start for before start checklist to the line so if we do that to the line checklist see it means that we don't have clearance but since we already have clearances we don't have any atc we'll do all the checklists below the line so before start checklist below the line until below the line cockpit prep so cockpit preparation we have completed earpins and covers is removed signs is on on eight years check eight years it's on nav mode as you can see all, all the eight years is on nav Fuel quantity in kilos, we have 9,100 kilograms set. Alright, next is 
Take of data is set. Bar reference. Bot size 1009. Bot size set. Below the line, windows and doors. Let's check it if it's closed. Alright, the door is closed. Beacon is on. Trust lever is on idle. Parking brake is off. So before start checklist is complete, we can now start our pushback. So to start our push is pretty simple. Route of cockpit. Please so show me where you want I to I want to push back right here. Let me show you how to do the pushback. I'm building I'm building the 767 while watching it. So we're gonna push back all the way here. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Alright, so we're gonna start our push brake right now and let's start our timer here. So basically you need to time your flight from from the time you take off the uh, parking brakes. So yeah, let's start it. Time on, there goes our timer. And starting our pushback, parking brake is off. Starting pushback and you may start engines. Alright, we are cleared to start engine. So to start engine, pretty simple guys. Nothing really complicated with the Airbus. So to start engine, we need first to turn this on. So this is our spark plug here. Uh, this is our ignition switch rather than <laughs> spark plug. Oh my god. So just turn this to start. There we go. And we'll wait for our... Uh, we'll wait for our uh, bleed to rise up because to start the engine you need some air so after that since our bleed is okay we need to turn our dual cooling which is this uh, thing here it should be a dual cooling here but i don't know why it's not showing up but never mind dual cooling is on and uh let's start engine number two first there we go engine number two is starting and I need to turn on the strobe light since we are on an active runway here. So we have pushed back and we are already at the active runway. But this is not uh, where we are going to take off because it's going to be the other way around. No problem. Right, you're building the wing. Nice dude. So starting engine number 2. Let's see it from the uh, pushback view. So yeah. It's now starting. Really cool guys, Air Asia, take a look at this. Alright guys, this is a reminder for those of you who have not yet liked the stream, please do like it and share the stream if possible and also subscribe so you don't miss any of our live stream here on uh, Minimums Aviation. So... Our engine is now starting. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Parking brake is set. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Stand by. We are starting the engine and it's gonna lower our nose here since we have already started this track. Shout out to Strom Crazy Gaming. Hello dude, welcome to the stream. Yep. It, this is what Manila looks like guys. This is Terminal 4 on Manila. Let me show you. Alright, this connect has been lost. Alright. Uh, so as you can see here, this is where we park. This is Terminal 6 of uh, Manila Domestic Terminal, Terminal 4. And as you can see here, there's already the runway right over there. So you, so once you always enter the runway, guys, you always need to turn on our strobe lights. As you can see. So there we go. So, but we're not gonna take off at runway 313 so since the winds. So, we're gonna taxi all the way here, down there, and we're gonna backtrack. Oh, no, not backtrack. We're gonna taxi all the way here, there, and we're gonna take off from this side. All the way to Manila Bay. So, yeah, that's what that's what is gonna happen for every part. Really weird setup here on Manila. Alright, we can now start engine number one. Always my uh, my audio is doing good so far. All right, we received the hand signals and pins. They all have it, so that's good. So we are starting engine number two. Let's check it from the ground view. Ah, engine number one, rather. Sorry. A really weird setup here. I've been here on this airport in real life countless of times, guys. And trust me, 
It's a really nice airport, but it's really quiet. Uh, how can I say this? It's crowded. There's a lot of people here. But currently, with the COVID situation, there's not a lot, bunch of people. But before, last time I've been here is 2016. So yeah, it's really crowded here, guys. But the uh, Wi-Fi is fast, and also with the uh, internet speed, and also the aircon is pretty good. Engine 2, engine 1 is starting. You can see the moon, guys. Take a look at the moon. Yeah. There's the moon. Alright, engine 1 is stabilized. We have already started both of our engines. So let's do the after start flows. Since both of our engine is on, we will not gonna use APU anymore. So let's turn on our APU. And we need to put auto brakes to max since if in case we need to in case we need to reject our takeoff, our auto brakes will kick in automatically. And next we need to put this on norm. This is our ignition switch, we need to put it on normal. Because since we're not gonna start our engines anymore because both of them is already started. And the next thing we need to do is to uh, set our uh, T cast to T A R A. In real life we only set it to T A, but since we are on the sim, we're gonna set it to T A R A and turn on our uh, uh, we're gonna turn on our squawk mode charlie and we need to put this on above so we can see it all our traffic above but there's no traffic but we're gonna set it uh, even though all right and now we're gonna set our flaps to two and we, after we set our flaps to two we're gonna turn on uh, we're gonna arm our spoilers let's see the flaps moving right now there goes our flaps nope uh dude you're just on time you're not late Alright, so there goes our uh, flaps. Flap looks good. We're gonna do our after start flows here. Wait a minute while I do something. Alright, let's do our after start check. Oh, but rather. I'm gonna put this ending the cabin cabin crew all right there we go and let's put our trim here first so for our trim we're gonna do down 0 0.3 so this is how we move the trim and we're gonna wait this to go to 0 0.3 there we go down 0 0.3 that's for our trim and we're gonna check our flight controls now flight controls pull up down neutral pull left side oh take a look at that pull right side neutral flight controls is free and correct for the rudder pull left side pull right side neutral get back to the cockpit here so yeah after start checklist Anti-ice is off, income status is checked, pitch trim is down 0 0.3 set. Rudder trim is zero. So rudder trim is as you can see is here, so it says that it's zero, so there's no problem. We're gonna fly from Manila to Lagundingan, dude. Uh Ano Manila, Philippines. Yep, this is Jacob J Shell. Mitra, shout out to you. Uh, we are currently on Manila. And we'll be climbing. Shout out to Storm Crazy Gaming. Thank you very much for checking us out. So, uh, air after start checklist, everything is set. Pitch trim, rudder trim, zero. Hand signals been sighted. So, that concludes our before start. All of this yellow thing, guys, this is what we'll do if you have only one engine. So, you can actually start the engine, guys. Uh, you, ca you can only taxi with one engine. So, that's basically the rule. And, yeah. But, since we're just gonna taxi short, we're gonna start both engines otherwise. So, alright, so we're ready for taxi guys, let's taxi. Taxi lights are on and runway turn off lights are on. Rock and break is off. Alright, here we go. Let's taxi out of here. Really nice. Alright.
slow taxi out of here. We'll listen to that wonderful BSS sound pack, guys. I really love BSS. Oh, take a look at that sound. It's like growling or something. Alright, so since we are outside of the runway, we can now turn off our flight direct uh, our strobe lights again. And yeah. Wow we Yep, this is Manila Philippines dude. Brake test, pressure zero. So soon we might fly with a uh, first officer guys. So you can actually connect with someone and you can fly with them. Really beautiful livery guys. Set for our departure here. And yeah, we're just gonna taxi towards the runway. Let's get some of those cinematics. Air Asia. Take a look at this delivery, guys. There's a small, like, uh, how could you say this? This is like a small, uh, is it lake, right? Or a small pool at the side of the airport. Air Asia Philippines. Oh my goodness, really looks nice. Cloudy day in the Philippines. Yes. Sorry for no uh, face cam. Uh, Viresh, shout out to you. Yes, rather. Uh, because I'm using NVIDIA Shadow Plane, it does not support any camera. Sorry. But I'll try to upgrade soon, don't worry. Very is your local airline. Nice. It's been a long time since I fly with Air Asia. I haven't fly Air Asia, guys, in real life. I only fly with Philippine Airlines and Cebu Pacific. I never tried Air Asia, and I, w I, w I would like to try it soon. Which game is this? This is X Plane Eleven. My last flight was on December two thousand nineteen. Oh, you're lucky. My last flight was on December two thousand sixteen. Right? Let's do the before takeoff checklist. The before takeoff checklist. Flight controls, we have checked the flight controls earlier. Flight instrument is checked. So far, no problem. Flap setting, a briefing. So we have briefed on runway 31. And then flap setting will be config flaps 2, check. We have config flaps 2 here. And V1, VR, V2, flex stamp V1, as you have noticed, is 132, 142, 145 magenta. Make sure, make sure that there is 145 shown here. And yeah, yes, there is. And. ATC set. Oh, for our flex stamp will be 34. ATC is set. And ECA memo take off no blue. So we are ready for takeoff. Let's enlarge this guy so you can see the screen properly. For our takeoff. Alright. So far so good. Minimums do you have RFS? Yep, I bought RFS but I do not have the pro one. Yep, I'm gonna try AirAsia for sure because back before AirAsia doesn't fly on my local airport so I have no chance of flying with AirAsia but now they already fly at the local airport so that's really cool RFS uh, I really like to fly but unfortunately I do not have any or when you're you finish vaccine yep I haven't vaccine myself yet that's unfortunate so we are cleared to enter the active runway and Turn off the uh, takeoff flight and prepare ourselves for the takeoff. So after that, we're gonna do the uh, before takeoff. So we have we've already the clearance. We load the line takeoff checklist. Takeoff runway runway three one confirmed. It's right over there. Always make sure that you're entering the active runway or the right runway. 
we just run with 3-1 in my case here so as you can see that's the active runway marker right over there runway 3-1 and then cabin crew advice the STA array in mode selector is normal and packs will be turned on for this flight so before takeoff checklist is completed and we need to turn on let's see our airport chart here there we go Going India? Nope, India's gonna be really far. But I could go India soon, guys, don't worry. Alright, let's break here. We are not yet cleared for takeoff, so we need to park here for a bit. Our parking brakes. Yep, everything is good. And we're just gonna wait for our takeoff clearance. Oh my god, I really love this delivery, guys. Take a look at this. Air Asia, dude. Air Asia, Philippines really nice let's go all right get back into the cockpit and start our take roll all right so we are cleared for takeoff air asia cool red uh 541 cleared for takeoff runway 31 so takeoff landing lights are turned on and let's take off parking brakes off let's do this guys Not run on. Mans X thirty four SRS Auto Trust Blue. A little wiggly here with the wind. One hundred knots check. V one. Rotate. Track, must be afraid of time, we're up. The pilot one on. Alright, goodbye Manila. Take a look at Manila guys, really nice. So this is Mall of Asia Arena. This is where uh, the one of the most biggest mall in the entire world. That's small of Asia Arena. World's biggest mall, I guess. No, Asia's rather biggest mall. Cross time time. Alright. Uh, we'll be turning heading. Let's go a beam. Go a beam. Right, there goes our turn. Flaps one. There goes our flaps. Yeah. Goodbye, Manila. Take a look at Manila, guys. Really cool. Really impressive. Let's turn again. Lap zero. Let's go direct further right now. Or direct Ipata rather. Alright, smooth out climb. We have an airbase here which is the Sangli Airbase. That's an airbase right over there. Five thousand feet close. Turn on our uh, nose light and our uh, taxi light. Right. 
There's Manila Airport, guys. Live in the Philippines. Yeah, we are the same. I also live in the Philippines. We should do it. I'm gonna check it later. I live in Indonesia. Oh, shout out to you. So let's do our after take of climb checklist. That's our next checklist. After take of climb checklist to the line. So this line here states that it's 10,000 feet. So landing gear up. Flaps is up. And flaps are on. 10,000 feet close. Landing lights is off. And we're gonna turn on our uh, turn off our signal light. Yeah. Smooth out climb. We have a tailwind here. And we'll climb all the way to 350 now. And we'll set the standard below the line. Our reference standard foot side. Yeah, those cinematic things. We'll find out of 